colour popping from this to this. Right, the idea of today's shoot is trying to find something what we can do a little bit of colour separation or colour popping. I know some photographers uh, really don't like this, but you know what, it can look alright and uh, we're going to go for it anyway. Uh, there's a couple of ways we can edit it, so I'll show you the way I do it and, and an alternative way. Uh, what we're going to do, this building behind, I'm going to turn the camera around a bit, it's a fantastic colour at the Salford Keys again, it's uh, it's really well worth a day out if you're in this area. I'll turn the camera around and you can see it. There we go, a lovely copper coloured building. And this fantastic old bridge here as well, it leads to it. Right, I've got my shots now, so uh, before I nip home and uh, start editing, I think a coffee is in order. And then to the computer, and we'll uh, have a look at what we've got and what we can do. Here we have our image in Lightroom. It is important at this time to get your colouring correct. So I've done a few basic edits, as you can see. Um, I've upped the contrast. I've touched the highlights and the shadows whites and the blacks sharpening just a just a touch remove the chromatic aberration and enable the profile corrections and that's it really so it's just to get the basics right in lightroom first with your color and then we're going to move it all to photoshop here we are with our image in photoshop the first thing i would normally do is actually look around the image itself and see if anything needs removing anything needs cleaning but on this one it actually looks okay so uh, we'll skip that one uh, a quick look over yeah it absolutely looks fine so what we're going to do first of all then now is go to command and j and we've got another layer and we're going to rename this layer c o l for color so that's really going to be our base layer I like to keep a background layer completely separate in case I mess anything up. So that's our base layer, it's going to be our colour layer. So then we're going to make another copy, another layer. We're going to make another layer. Again, Command and J. And this is going to be our black and white layer. So making sure we've got our BW layer selected. We're going to go down here and add a gradient map there we go so we've got the gradient map selected under method go to the drop down box and click on classic now if your gradient map just shows up here if you just double click on there it brings the box up here so you've got blacks gradually going into a white and I think what we're going to do is just move that a touch as you can see it brings it down what I'm trying to do is get a bit more definition there in the sky because you've got to remember what we're going to go for is the building and we're going to bring through the colour and maybe the whites on the bridge as well also this dark part of the bridge as well is not a lot there anyway so let's bring that through as well we press ok with that once we're happy another way of doing this is to go down to our original black and white layer we'll turn the top one off so get your black and white layer there go on to image adjustments and to black and white and we get a box of sliders here to get a bit of definition in the sky it's your blue and you can play about with the sliders 
until you're happy with what you've got. But I'm quite happy with the gradient map. From here, we're going to add an adjustment layer and it essentially jumps in with the gradient map one. The first one in on your gradient map layer is actually your adjustments. So by selecting the paintbrush and selecting black, you're going to reveal what is underneath this layer, which brings through the color layer, as you can see. Fantastic color that building, it really is. As you can probably hear, I need a new mouse mat. So it's just a case of working on it, bringing through what you like and the rest will stay black and white. Whatever you bring through, whatever you paint black, that colour will come through. The more time you spend on this, and the, just be really careful on what you do, the better. And what we're going to do, we're going to uh, spend some time on this. And wait for the final result, see what we get. I know I've already said a lot of photographers don't like this. I know I've got photographer friends who... Uh, really put this down they really despise it but i really like the results sometimes i think some pictures do look better for it and there we are with our finished picture so we started with this we removed the color etc and ended up with that i do like that it kind of really does stand out if you've enjoyed what i've done Please be kind enough to subscribe to my channel and like the video, it does help and thank you very much in advance.